All right, everybody, this is the Monster Hunter double cross section of our Citra uh, build tutorial overview. Um, in order to really get everything out of this video, you need to go ahead and check out that first video we have for our Citra build uh, that makes sure that you have the framework for Citra ready to go. And if you're wanting to play online multiplayer on the server, you need to check out our zero tier video. If you've done all that, we're going to go ahead and get started by opening your Citra folder uh, and then opening up games. From there, you're going to drag and drop your Monster Hunter Double Cross game over. You're going to go ahead and grab your Monster Hunter version 1.4 uh, uh, update to that. And then there is a community English patch. I use the no crossplay. You could use crossplay or no crossplay. It really doesn't matter because we're not connecting to an online server uh, via infrastructure. We're connecting through local play on VLAN so you can play online. It just isn't connecting to an official server. Uh, we're using an unofficial server, mine. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that over as well. Now you can go ahead and come back to your Citra QT and you'll see Monster Hunter Double Cross is now in the games list. The first thing we're gonna do is go to File, Install CIA, and you are going to put in your Monster Hunter 1.4. Is this the one? Hold on, pop up. I believe this is our Monster Hunter, yes. Monster Hunter 1.4. You're gonna open that, and boom. Now you have your version of Monster Hunter Double Cross has been patched to 1.4. Then you're going to install CIA again, and you're going to do your Monster Hunter uh, final patch 3.1. This is your English patch. That will, that will apply, and you'll see it in game. So now your game has been updated, and your game has the English patch installed, and you're ready to go. Um, the links to the English patch and the texture files will be in the description below, as well as the performance codes notepad here that I have. Uh, all of your extra tools you need to do this are in the descriptions below. Um, the first thing that we're gonna wanna go do is apply our performance codes to the game. Uh, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click on Monster Hunter Double Cross, you're gonna go to Properties, Cheats, and we're gonna go ahead and add that no dithering code. Uh, copy and put into code. We're gonna hit save and check. Then you're gonna grab your remove bloom. Paste, save, and check. Now, <clears throat> Monster Hunter Double Cross is a interesting conversation with frame rate. The game on 3DS ran natively at 30 FPS. The English patch uh, has the 60 FPS code implemented into it, and so Citra tries to run it at 60, but even without that, if you take the non-patched version of the game, apply the 60 FPS code, uh, you'll find that Monster Hunter Double Cross stutters a lot at 60 FPS. It's a very similar issue that you have in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. There is a lot of internal game stutter and it seems to be on the emulation side of things. However, unlike Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate where the game animations are tied to the internal frame rate, Monster Hunter Double Cross is not tied to the internal frame rate for its game mechanics. So you can have variable frame rates um, for whatever you want to put in here. And it seems to be anything under 52 FPS works very well without stuttering. If you have low end hardware, we have a 30 FPS code for you. Uh, we incrementally jumped that up to 45. Um, however, we also have a 50 FPS code, which seems to be the highest frame rate I've been able to apply and it have no stuttering uh, on my system. I've had a couple of anecdotes from other users on the server that have said their 60 FPS works well. I've also had many others tell me that their 60 FPS stutters. So my recommendation is a 50 FPS if you have the hardware for it, uh, which is what I'm going to apply here for, for my machine. So 50, whoops, PS. Uh, however, uh, we do provide 30 and 45 FPS for anyone uh, who doesn't have um, uh, high-end hardware. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. I almost forgot. 
Uh, and then before we get into game, I'm going to go to configure. I'm going to go to graphics. For most low end hardware, native to three times 720p is going to be your range. I would say try three times. That kind of cleans up the game as, as best as it can without having any real major impacts to performance. So we're going to start there. Um, I'm going to open up the game just far enough to get a save created. Uh, opening the game will allow me to create a save. And then I do believe, uh, I, I believe that was far enough. Yeah, open extra data. I'm going to apply my my in-game save uh, just so we can skip kind of the, the opening cutscenes and stuff. Or not really cutscenes, but um, the opening dialogue. So let's get into game and check out how things look. You'll see right here at the beginning, the, the title has changed to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. That means your English patch has been applied. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue with my character. And you'll see you'll see stutter in the loading screen, but at 50 FPS now the game is running smooth, uh, and this is at 720p, no dithering, um, and the uh, um, bloom has been removed. However, you will notice that uh, there's still a little bit of graininess left, and I do believe that's because we did not uh, apply the 3D off option. Um, I sometimes forget that that's in here. In Monster Hunter 3 U, you have your 3D. Oh no, the 3D off is there. Okay, so we're good. Um, but in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, the 3D off option is on. In Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, the 3D option is non-existent and you need a cheat code for it. And in Monster Hunter Generations, the 3D is set to default off. Um, this is how you get the game running at the bare minimum settings. If you have some higher end hardware and you want to increase the graphics to the highest you can, this is how you do it. Uh, in the description, you'll go ahead and grab the Monster Hunter Double Cross textures. You're going to open your custom texture location. In the last video, I accidentally opened mod location. Uh, so custom textures. Then you're gonna drag and drop Monster Hunter Double Cross and just hit extract here with it in this folder. This will take some time. This is a 13 gigabyte file. Um, and while it is the largest file that we have for all of our textures, it ironically isn't the most complete. Even with the texture overhaul, you will notice that there are several assets in game. Um, some of the, the like UI, your health, the clock, some of the textures aren't either working, aren't implemented in the texture pack or something is going wrong on Citra's and where it's just not reading them. Uh, and so Monster Hunter Double Cross still has a little bit of a ways to go when it comes to the graphical fidelity overhaul. However, um, it's still a massive improvement to what it is at base. So if you have the computer spec and the hardware to run the game with a texture overhaul, I highly recommend go ahead and grab it, slap it in there, and it, at least give it a, a look, check it out. Uh, once that's extracted, you're gonna go ahead and go to emulation, configure, graphics, and then use custom textures. This will allow those textures to be applied, and you're going to use async custom texture loading. This allows those textures to be uh, loaded in with the least impact to your system. Um, it used to be preload custom textures, but now with folders that are 13 gigs, preload puts those textures directly into your RAM and very few people have 13 gigs to spare. So we're going with ASIC custom textures. From that point, you can go ahead and just crank your internal resolution as high as your system can handle it. Mine can do 10 times native. And we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna run it again. Startup for Monster Hunter Double Cross, you'll notice sometimes it, it lags a little bit right there. That's totally normal. Um, Double Cross has a few quirks uh, about the game. And uh, 
you just kind of have to accept it as it goes so you can see monster hunter generations ultimate it's not fully cleaned up some of the main menu textures aren't fully cleaned up however my character is super crisp now it's a little bit of a mixed bag for what i would consider to be like the peripheral like side textures of the game some of them are still a little low quality but you'll see in game the texture overhaul is still gorgeous uh everything looks really really good um they even had pretty good attention to the detail out in the distance like they overhauled the look of some of these like cliffs and icebergs and stuff uh everything looks overall very good and with the 50 fps patch you're not getting any of the in-game stutter that you would with the 60 uh so you get a full graphical overhaul and a game that's running at a fairly decent frame rate uh you know as clean as you can the last thing that we have for monster hunter double cross is multiplayer uh if you've gone over our, our uh, zero tier tutorial you have zero tier installed you are ready to go you're going to hit multiplayer you're going to go to direct connect to a room and then you're going to input this ip 192.168.192.2 this server address does not change that will be the same no matter what the thing that changes is your port uh, for 3U, we have 30,001 to 30,003. For 4U, we have 40K. And then for Double Cross, we, we have 50K. Um, each of these uh, rooms are a single gathering hall that supports uh, four players. So 50,001, 50,002, and 50,003 are all each four player rooms. Um, if we ever have need for more rooms, I will expand on that and just add to those numbers. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do 50,001, connect, boom. Monster Hunter, double cross, hall one. We are in. That's all you have to do. It's very straightforward. In game, you're going to come to the Monster Hunter, or the, 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 the hub, the online hub here. You can see we're offline. You're going to go to connect. And then you're either going to do for search hubs, uh, if your friend has already created a hub. Or if you're the first one in, you're going to go to create a hub and create a hub and boom it's that simple you are now online on our network you have created a room and your friends can go to connect and search hubs and they will see that your room is there uh and they can connect to you from there that covers everything we have for our tutorials um if you have any questions about any of the other games or monster hunter double cross feel free to reach out to me on the discord um but to this point we have covered how to build citra from the ground up uh how to optimize 3u 4u and double cross for both low end spec at lower internal resolutions and apl application of the performance codes and then you know with high-end hardware how to apply the texture packs and then crank your resolution to the max um, I hope this has been helpful for everyone, and I hope to see you all in game sometime very soon. Take care.